We're all under attack, bro. Every day you go out in them streets, you're under attack. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator and welcome to Meridian Squad 22, a fantastic RPS. Uh, it struggles a bit to make its own name for itself, but it has uh, some conquest as well as a really good campaign, lots of great voice acting in the campaign. I played through most of the campaign, so I'm going to play the uh, conquest mode. I've also started up the conquest mode. Um, so you'll start here, your starting territory. I've expanded here and here. You see uh, starting buildings and units on the uh, side there, so you can pick which territory you'd like. They basically look all the same right now, a couple troopers and a mech. So I'm going to go here, and we'll uh, see if we can conquer this territory with ease. So, you've got your little drones, they will build things for you. Power plants are needed to construct buildings, you've got your power limit in the upper right here. Five out of eight, and you'll need more power to construct more buildings. Shardium is basically your currency, and then these are rations here, which uh, say how many how many uh, units you can have for your, your military. Your fighty guys. So I'm gonna make these guys uh, mine some Shardium. We'll get uh, barracks going. Could we do that? 275. Yeah, we'll do that shortly. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. I said, boop, boop. Put it in the trees. Charlie's in the trees, boys. And uh, right click will set the rally point once you've selected the barracks. So that's pretty easy. A lot of the things uh, felt kind of wonky when I started it up. I wasn't sure that I liked the controls that much. But they grew on me. Um, I still wish that I could WASD to move the screen instead of moving the cursor to the corners. Because uh, that's pretty frustrating. Oh my god, I just blew that shit up. By pressing S. <laughs> so, <laughs> there are hotkeys. <laughs> Whoops! Okay, barracks is now complete. Reset that rally point since I blew the fucking last one up. Um... And we're pretty good on power for now. Might like a little more storage. Just so uh, I can increase my, my shardium. And I'll get some okay. some of these troopers exploring. We gotta find out where the enemy lies. And they also have uh, little capsules that you can pick up. Which will help you with your research tree. Right now I've got four economy. Uh, I'm sorry, four combat, zero economy. And three defense. Uh, they do many different things. Once researched, all buildings will have plus one armor. Once researched, all infantry units will have plus one armor. That seems pretty self-explanatory. Uh, combat has things like units. You've got the infiltrator, cyclone, naval attacker, hawkfighter, airborne attacker. Pretty fucking cool. Um, and then you've got economy, which basically just helps you with uh, shardium mines and things like that. Producing more food, uh, being more efficient as it is. More efficient economically. So, this guy's kind of out of, out here on his own, but he's going to get that combat canister. Yes. And I just need to uh, kind of kind of skirt around the edges of the map, looking for the enemy base. And if I lose this guy, that's that's not going to be too much of a problem. I'll bring him back that way. Get that. Oh yeah. I could get infantry armor. Don't you want infantry armor? Oh, shit. I found their base. That is for damn sure. Alright. Alright, I've got another power plant and I built uh, a factory so I can make some more Chimera. Anti-infantry mechs! And we'll go ahead and get that drone uh, working on some Shardium of his own. I should probably make some regular ass troopers too. That could behoove me. And I'm gonna go peek out at what uh, what the enemy has over here. He's dead already. Just prod it a little bit. Let's move Drag it back to the mechs. Is there a situation? Of course, sir. No, you stay behind. You stay behind. Oh god damn it! Get him! Get him! I also have the heal ability, which is uh unlocked. Immediately upon starting the game, it is a uh, a combat skill, I think. No, a defense skill. Of course it is. 
I could uh, buy my infantry armor now because I got lots and lots of combat points, but I really want an economy point so I can make that infiltrator. Um, doesn't seem like it's going to happen quite yet. Heavy troopers? Mmm. Mmm. Fast fire. Mmm. Mmm. Could get that. But I need to unlock all this other shit first. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck are you doing over here? I am under attack. You gotta explode you real good, boy. Copy that. Think that's acceptable? Trooper. It ain't! Duty. Now I'm gonna have to punish your base. Oh, shit. Well, that seems to be hitting pretty hard, but we're alright. I got my heal ready. Heal! Yeah! I'm saving lives. Uh, excuse me, Chimeras. Could you fucking help the infantry with the anti-infantry unit? I guess not. Fine, everybody do what they want. I don't, I don't give a shit. Not a very good commander. <laughs> But I am going to blow up their uh, factory so they can't produce more mechs, which is important. And my heal is fucking down. Uh-oh. We're going to have to pull out of here pretty soon. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All of our troopers are going down. Chimera, run! We must flee, Chimera! We got five Chimera units. All right, what can do I it. Do Take them all out. Oh, that guy's stuck. A small miracle. <laughs> More Chimeras. More troopers. Let the madness begin. Here. All right. right I'm gonna send them back up over there. Destroy this shit! There's a drone trying to fix it as we destroy it. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, Sunny Jim! Oh, they got another factory. Fuck. But the heal is up. Heal is up. And now. Get that. We'll get some more Chimeras. Yes! Good trooper. He knows what to do. Proud of that boy. Pachow, pachow! Aw, oh, yeah. You've been conquered! I am gonna stay and get any remaining samples as I should. There's economy up there. That's what I was really hoping for. And this is an extremely important part of the stage. If you haven't explored the entire map, uh, you definitely want to stick around and get any leftover samples. Let's move out. So in addition to the uh, skill tree that you have on the separate stages, you also have a research tree that will add new units and drop things after battles, but you need a certain amount of territories in order to uh, unlock these things. 18 territories, 25 territories. I think five is the smallest. So we need to do one more. I'm going to go over here. Expand. Expand. I'm going to conquest the shit out of this. Okay. So we could get uh, gun upgrade samples. We could unlock some mechs. This is a, a free territory right here. So blam. I get some resources. Resources. And uh, I'm still trying to protect my starting territory, so I guess I'll swoop into this one now. See what it holds, what it holds. Get to mining. Get to mining. You, build a, a, a storage thing. Yeah, they only had one factory, it looks like. Fortunate. Fortunate. We shall explode all of this. And uh, put the drones up against the wall in short order. Up against the wall, fucker! Up against the wall, fucker! <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. We have a good time, don't we? So, friends, I really enjoyed my time with uh, Meridian Squad 22. It's going to be out on Early Access May 31st, so uh, keep an eye out for it if it looks like something that you would enjoy. 
Um, I hesitate to give it a full review score, but I will talk about some of the uh, points in my review. For the controls, I would really like to see WASD as camera controls. Moving the mouse cursor over to the edge of the screen is really a big pet peeve for me in RTSs, and uh, the screen is also quite sensitive. So if you bump it, you're all of a sudden off your base and gotta kinda scramble to get back. It's it's less intuitive than I'd like on the controls. Definitely could use some work, but uh, it's serviceable, you know? I, I didn't feel like anything was completely out of whack, just, uh, you know, little camera complaints. Fun factor, it's an extremely fun game. I really like the longer form of combat with the upgrades taking place across multiple battles instead of just, like, you know, here it is, here's your, your fight, and you won it, and that's it. So, pretty good on the fun factor as well. Difficulty uh, is lacking, for sure. I think that's just a balance issue that has to do with early beta. Uh, you can basically mob your troops into there. The enemy will send uh, scouting parties and stuff, but nothing that your, uh, your home base can't handle, for the most part. Replayability, really, really good, especially with Conquest mode. I really am into that Conquest mode. Holy crap. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I like the campaign as well. Not as replayable as the Conquest mode, obviously, but even the campaign has different dialogue options and things like that, so you can, uh, you can go through it in a different way, in theory. <laughs> I was not overly impressed by the innovation. Uh, most of the mechs and things like that are, you know, kind of generic. There's not many races or interesting things like that. So it scores relatively low. I'd like to see some, some new things added before it comes to a full release, but um, only time will tell there. The graphics, I think, is super, super good for an indie studio. Uh, this is from Head Up Games. So they went from, like, Pixel Heroes, Might, and Magic to uh, something like this, and I am quite impressed with the, uh, the models in this game for an indie studio, for sure. The music, uh, a bit generic, a bit over the top for what I would like for this sort of game. Um, I'd like to see it a little more laid back since this is a game that you will be spending plenty of hours with, um, and once in a while the music does get a little bit over the top and make me go, what the fuck is happening? Uh, sound effects, relatively good as well on the sound assets, some of the explosions and things like that. Mm, guns, kind of repetitive, but overall it uh, fits the mood fits the style extremely well. So good job on the sound effects. Story. I really, really love the story. Holy crap. It's about uh, Earth being overpopulated and you gotta go, uh, yes, you know. We've seen this uh, established outposts on other planets and stuff like this, but I think the way that they did it is extremely cool. And uh, the voice acting in this game, holy shit, 10 out of 10. Wow. I really do like the voice acting more than anything else, probably. Um... So yeah, if you're a story-based yes, gamer, definitely don't hesitate right. to check this one out. Level design, uh, extremely low here, I think, because uh, there's not a whole lot aside from the canisters and the enemy camp to see on the map, which probably, again, something to do with beta, maybe. Um, but I would really like to see, you know, some caves to explore, maybe some, like, monster populations, monster camps, things like that. Level ups, you could go, like, a little more Warcraft 3 with it, but, um, you don't have to go completely, because I do like the, the build-up upgrades across, like, multiple battles. Anyways, I think it's a really, really interesting game. It's coming to Early Access uh, on the 31st, so definitely check it out if it looks like something that you would enjoy. I will find myself coming back to it, I'm sure, as far as uh, getting it up on the channel. You guys will have to let me know if it's something that you want to see, and uh, I'd be glad to deliver. So friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. And if you do, friends, I will send you a USB cable. I don't know what it goes to, it's just a two foot USB cable and I found it in a box, so you can have it if you want it. Thanks so much for watching, I hope to see you in the next one friends, and until then, bye bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you my friends.